Hey everyone, it's Brunewolf here again for uh, episode uh, 3 or 4 here. I just woke up. So it's gonna be a little weird. Um, I have a coke though, and that's what matters. When we left off, we were fighting some Geth, I think, chasing a Turian hipster that killed my Turian hipster. And we were with uh, Mr. Generic and Mrs. Generic. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna get moving here on the train. Choo choo. Ka choo. Cause I'm going down the slope like zip zap doobity bop. Doop a doop a doop. It's a cutscene, so I should probably shut up. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Uh oh. That's not good. Those are bombs. And we all saw my hacking skills. <laughs> At the door. I think this might be a little more high stakes. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Oh. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. Okay. Where am I going here? I'm going up here. Oh god, we figured out how to sprint last night and I already forgot. Oh, shift, shift, okay. Shift, shift, shift! Oh. Shift. E, 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 diffuse, diffuse. Alright, we're doing pretty good this morning. Uh. Sniper rifle. Don't want to use that. We're moving up slowly. We're uh, keeping this good, I guess, though. Got four minutes to go. And I only have one fuse. Charge the fuse. Level up. Here we go. Okay. Plus shields. Okay, you guys, we all know I'm stuck in this game, so don't, don't get too mad at me. Uh, sure, I'll take it all. I think we got him, Commander. Shift, 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 shift. Keep it run. Oh, it's this way. It's this way. <laughs> it would be over there, wouldn't it? It would be over there, wouldn't it? Okay, you guys, you defend me while I defuse these charges. Because there's totally enemies everywhere. But yeah, I really enjoy this game. Uh, it's pretty fun. I'm playing on the PC. Um, so, I mean, right there, there's a problem because I'm not a PC player. I mainly stick to... Like console. By console, I mean Xbox. That's all I play. Double tap. Negative contacts, Commander. So we have negative contacts. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. Uh, so you know, we're pretty good here. We're gonna go to the storage locker. Test out my hacking skills. Alright. Oh no. <laughs> Override sucks. 
Oh no! Uh. Yeah. I'm gonna have to start saving my meta gel. Uh, this this isn't gonna work very well. We got armor proof stuff. I don't have a timer, so hopefully we'll get a cutscene here. Uh, forgot my timer. By my timer, I mean Jeremiah. Okay, where am I supposed to go? I should probably find that Turian hipster and cap his ass. I think that's the whole, whole plan. I think. And that's Mass Effect 1, everyone. I can't find where I'm going. So yeah, Mass Effect 1. <laughs> so let's try to override this. Maybe eventually I'll get... Oh, I'm getting good at this. I'm getting good at this, everyone. Look at that. Look at that. Where am I supposed to go, everyone? Leave comment. Something. Uh, we're just taking all of this stuff. Prothean beacon. Here we go. This is what we're looking for. Normandy. The beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. I think that was a mind fuck. Bomb, it's a reaper. <clears throat> we identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy. A human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Someone needs to take anger management lessons. Doctor! Dr. Chakwas! I think he's waking up! You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Well, it's story time, but on that note, I think we're going to call it an episode here after I talk to Dr. Chakra. Minor throbbing. Nothing serious. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. Don't blame yourself, beautiful. You had no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. Well, you know, I'm a paragon, so... I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. 
but I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death? Destruction? Holy crap, that's where the indoctrination started. Hmm, I better add this to my report. It may... Oh, Captain Anderson. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? When all the readings look normal, I'd say the command is going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, is that Captain. a rape threat? I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? I feel bad about Jenkins, Commander. Jenkins Living Center. Sponsor! I don't like soldiers dying under my command. <laughs> Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. But I feel bad. Screw story time. You wanted you to You said talk? you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Gether invading. The Council's going to want answers. Well, we have nothing to hide. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter? A rogue specter. specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Hates humans? Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. What are we gonna tell him? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information Whoa. was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the Beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. You're right. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. Understood, black man. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the Council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the Ambassador, and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. And that's been it for episode four or three, I don't know. I don't really care to be honest. So, thanks for watching, and this has been uh, Brunewolf Shepard. Peace out.